Hey guys, your boy Prepares, and welcome back to my 516 I'll borrow Rock and Core and we're last to off the I've extended my lead at the top of the table by beating Sporting in in a <clears throat> Oh it, it, it is firmly in my hands now. Oh I have a good gap at the top of the table. Oh. Well, maybe I'll even increase it. I don't know. Where you're playing? No, well, they aren't. Well, anyway, I have my probably, I probably utterly butchered this team's name. I am very, very sorry. Yeah, Maritimo. Maritimo. That's probably as good as it's gonna get, and I'm sorry. But yeah. Hi everybody, welcome to. So, we're here. We may as well talk about what happened on Thursday. Yeah, that was fucking bonkers. And the reason I want to talk about the Europa League matches on Thursday, it's not. Uh, you're probably saying you're. Hopefully you don't follow the Europa League, but even if you don't follow the Europa League, you know what happened at Anfield. But I don't want to talk about Liverpool. I'm going to talk about their result against Dortmund probably tomorrow in my Liverpool promo video. I want to talk about Braga losing four nothing. They were down two one from the first leg against Jack Darden. And they lost 4 nothing, and I was like... It almost, the scoreline makes it look like they, they didn't go up a fight. Now, I haven't seen the highlights, I haven't seen anything from the R3 match. Because I've only, of course, I was only focused on Liverpool. Well, I mean, I knew Braga were playing, and I was hoping they would win, but when I saw 4 now, I was like... Wow, they must not have even tried. Or a Shrek tried to that much better on Braga, I don't know. I mean, I know Shrek done an X or no pushovers, but... 4 0 seems a bit excessive. Got a corner out of that, a bit lucky, it was deflected. Except for this, um, Vil. Well, I like Vil Bauge. And each game had a team scoring four goals as well. And he's made it with his head. And he's Liverpool scored four against Dortmund. The, the Real scored four against their match. And does I just say Shaq or the next scored four during their game? And against Braga. It is, um,. It's interesting to say the very least. Open the scoring and one nil here. Well, I don't know what more can be said. The very disappointing and, uh, end to the Europa League for for Braga. Now, like I said, I'll probably talk. I'll talk more about the local result tomorrow because this is not this video is not about local. Well, it's about Braga. But Braga, I just, you know, I'm probably going to watch the uh, the highlights at some point. Just to see, you know. I mean, maybe there was a good, I don't know. I can't think of a good reason. You'd lose 4 nothing. I generally can't. Especially when the first leg was 2 1. So, um, yeah. I, I can't think of a good reason. There is no good reason. This could be a chance. The match. No disrespect to. To, uh, check our next. 
The match should have been closer than that. I mean, Spar Prague and Valencia's match finished 4-2. What on the night? I mean, even if it was 4-2, I'd be saying, okay, let's turn it up. They put a fight, but 4 now makes it seem like they didn't. Makes it seem like they just turned up, said, there you go, there's our goal. We're not going to bother doing any sort of defending. I mean, I'm going to mention this again. A Liverpool, we can see three, but we scored four. It's just the scoreline makes it seem like Braga just threw in the towel. And I mean, I'm, again, no disrespect to Shakhtar the next are a really good side. But it's, I mean, how can you go? How can there be such a vast difference in two legs? I mean, I know that's the case sometimes, in, not just the Europa League, but the Champions League as well. It, it just, something about it doesn't seem right. It just, the scoreline, to me, it makes it seem like Braga threw in the towel. Now, maybe someone in the comments section below was watching the match and tell me, oh, bro, I tried their best, so just, they didn't. Maybe it, Braga got a good few shots and did it just couldn't beat the Shakhtar for goal, or maybe that's the case, I don't know. Like I said, I have not seen the match. I cannot say for sure whether Braga actually did pull up a fight and just got really unlucky. He did not score any goals close themselves, or they just threw in the towel. It could, e it could easily be either case. But if if a team if teams throw in the towel, whenever things go bad, then they're pretty much admitting defeat. And this is something Liverpool do a lot. And I really don't want. I keep going back to Liverpool's result against Dortmund because, like I said, I want to talk about it in the later tomorrow. But Liverpool were 3 1 down, and normally Liverpool would throw in the towel, but they didn't. They didn't. They actually fought back against Dortmund. And I've seen people say it was lucky. Where you say it was luck, I would. Referee's given a Who believe it was the determination and the heart of the team. You cannot have to have it be an admirer or the, the fact that for once, I think this is like the only time this season. Where Liverpool have been in a bad position and haven't thrown in the towel. I've seen it so often. And if that is what Braga did, I can relate, but 4 0. Well, the attack has done well, beaten his man. Just something doesn't seem right. No? I don't know why. I, it, something doesn't seem right. Like I said, that I didn't see the match. I can't tell. Play for. I can't claim one thing or another. I'm just saying. If they did throw in the towel, it just doesn't seem like that's what they should have done. I'm hoping that they didn't throw in the towel and that they tried their best. Maybe Braga were all over Shakhtar and they just got four counter-attack goals, which, you know, is fair enough. That would be... That would be the opposite of throwing in the towel. They, that would mean they put in some effort. But the score line would say, you know, look at the score line. I can't look at that and say, it, it looks like the frog up a fight, because, I mean, attacking power in this situation. Well, the goalkeeper if they did get hit on the counter a lot, I mean, you think... 
you didn't have one goal to show for it. Because pressure, it doesn't always work out, but most of the time it does. Very good challenge. Well, the atmosphere is improving now. Now the home team need to improve. Anyway, I think I'll, uh, I won't talk about the Europa League matches anymore. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the matches. Um, Found his teammate well. And here's the shot. And also what you thought of the uh, Champions League matches, which I was, I don't know. I don't know where I was, hey, I was surprised. I mean, the Real Madrid one, I wanted to believe Wolfsburg could have gotten, the one, gotten, out, gotten over Real Madrid, but I knew from the second I saw the scoreline of the first leg, I knew from the second, I was like... Look at the wall, I'm trying to sneak an advantage. Well, it was a big opportunity, and the referee has brought a halt to it. That's full time. I was like, to produce a match like this, Real Madrid are going to turn this around in the second leg. I knew it straight away. You looking at the scoreline, I was like, Real Madrid are going to turn this around, and it's like, like this is what they do. Who? This is they probably they probably lost that first leg on purpose as a great big joke. Try and fool everyone who think all oh, images are terrible. And out of nowhere. Oh, surprise! No, they're not. Uh, they're still the Real Madrid we all know and despise. It, it would not surprise me. It would seem like something Real Madrid would do. Cool. Yes, I think Real Madrid would have lost that first leg intentionally just to spite us all. So, um, whether you, uh, agree with that or you don't is your priority. I personally think Real Madrid might have done it on purpose purely for the fact that it was a great big laugh to them. And yeah. And just for the record, if Liverpool were lucky against Borussia Dortmund, Manchester City, he must have had horseshoes up their asses against PSG. He, he, he had thought, talk about fucking luck. But do people want to talk about that? No, they, they, they only seem focused on the fact. The Louvre. Oh. Well, didn't have a didn't have a convincing win over Dortmund. Makes me play sick with us. And uh, Barcelona. Barcelona have been on a bit of a decline as of late, and, well, it showed, didn't it? The decline showed. Ooh, they... That the, uh... No matter what, you... If you're on a bad run, that's just the way football goes sometimes in Barcelona. They are on a pretty bad run. And I don't know where this is coming from, but I can bet you Real Madrid are probably going like, Yes, we have a chance to still win it. The double hole. Oh. Wait, 
I'm playing the same team again. What the hell? I'm playing the same team again. Okay, fair enough. And it's at their stadium again. They'll be sick of seeing me. Yeah, at this point. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Barcelona. Uh, I think it's either today or tomorrow they play Vitesse. And really, if they do not fix this slump quick, they're not going to win the league. And it looked like they had the league won. Hmm. I'm going to say this right now. If Barcelona don't get three points against Spurcia yeah, this weekend. I think Atletico Madrid will snatch the title again, like they did like two seasons ago. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4-3-3 three, three. gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strong. And then, there'll be, uh, then we'll see what happens with uh, Diego Simeone, because... The Chelsea job is now who guaranteed to be taken. Louis Van Gaal's confirmed that he won't be leaving, hmm? which I bet pisses off many I fans because if he left, he would have gotten, they would have fucking got the Ebra, and now they're not gonna get Ebra. Haha, -ha. they're stuck with shitty Rooney. And yes, I know he scored the goal in January, but. Luck comes in all forms, my friend. And I again would suggest that that they partake in shoving horseshoes up their asses in Manchester. Hassan. Is it Liverpool? Lucky. That's what they're doing in Manchester. Defending when they needed it really. Why didn't they shoot that? There. That's gonna be a corner. He's in there so oh would you imagine? Just off target. They generated some power on it and the keeper wasn't getting down. The entire opposition would grab so pull and toss him out of the stadium if he scored another goal again. Augusto, what a goal that is! And a great start! It's 1 0 pull again and against this team. He just put his foot through this, Martin, and it's flown into 20 minutes in, and it's looking good. I'll be progressing to this semi final of the Hacker Portugal. Again, pronunciation, I'm probably getting it wrong. Well, I, I assume I'm pronouncing Portugal right, but... Very good passes. This team are passing the ball beautifully. And he claims the cross... Taka is probably not pronouncing But he's not been challenged. One of those little, uh, squiggle things under the sea. I don't know, I don't know what that sounds like. Sorry about that. Just, don't shut up. Idiot. Oh. If you clear it here. Woohoo! Got rid of that quickly. Terrific tackle. 
Spotted a teammate and he's got the technique Rafa. the vision to switch the play. Termans straight into the hands of the keeper. Catching practice. Henson. Got the ball. Doesn't get very far before losing the ball. Rafa. Rafa avoids the challenge. Can he go all the way? No, he loses the goddamn ball! Seriously, I need an active Fenwa almost in my team. Someone who's physically strong and looks like I'm playing with a bunch of Ryan Sterling. Hmm, it's out there. Her. No muscle who lose hers. Hers who don't give a shit. Take two minds off before he gets hurt. Can't afford an injury to one of the players. Portugal. Up this semi final chance, yeah, been a bit of a chess match at times in this match, but I think uh, the second Sorry. Really opens up and you get the what's sir? that? Yes, Hansen gets the ball in. Mm. Oh, and he's shushing them. Oh, he's shushing them. The cheap the way he's placed that to the left hand side speaks of a man on top of his game. Restarting at of course. If you saw the last episode, you'll know why the first team players are getting their first goals in the uh, back of Portugal. Of course, like a uh, terrible second string team in the uh, first round in, in the last episode. Had to go all the way to penalties to win that goddamn match. Oh, what a goal that is! Yeah, it's the substitute as well. It's the guy I brought on for two man. That's the union. I probably said his name as well. Oh, well, but that is a fantastic strike. Flew in. And give him credit. Hey, that takes some, uh, takes some confidence in yourself to try a shot from that far out. And I, uh, I have. Nothing but confidence in myself. Andrei, you know, Andrei. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Andrei Zino. Again, in pronunciations, what are they? Got it back again. In fact, both my uh, on the field central midfielders are uh, scored. Augusto scored in the first half, and the substitution I brought on for Tillman because he was tired and I didn't want to risk an injury. He scored in the uh, second half. Brilliant. If you look at the coach, piano. Penalty. Wait, what? Ref, are you not paying attention? Oh, my defender down. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. So. Hansen avoids the challenge. Can he finish? Of course he can't.
Seriously, it's almost easier for him to miss. He misses more than he scores to be to uh no, not to be fair to him. That's a bad thing. He's not as clinical as Triori. Free kick given. And there's a real Oh, your round was too quick on the uh, challenge and he's giving away the free kick. Triori is grabbing it. Near right footer here. And that would be that manager's job would be Rafa. Oh, just over the bar. I am quite handsome, really. It was a good strike. It was. There's uh, not a lot of margin for error there, and it was a sweetly struck ball. Ooh, more simple. Oh, right. Or maybe I just put a little too much power on it? Maybe it was right far enough right to warrant power free kick. Maybe I should have gone for the dipping free kick instead. Hmm. Either way, it's not exactly what I had in mind. Santos of Magic! He lost a bit of his concentration there. Well, here's the goal again, Alan. Well, he certainly struck it with an awful lot of power. And whether the keeper should have done better. Or look at the uh, goal earlier from uh, Adrian, my midfielder. Minutes. I swear, or did I only scored one goal against them in the league. He scored three against them in only a few days later. And there's the full time whistle. I'm through to the semi final. Oh, oh, fantastic. Big stuff. Apparently no one else was playing. All the uh all my other rivals are still in Benfica. Also needed penalties to get past the first round. And they're still in. Sporting are still in. And Porto are playing Ray Abu. Give you one and a half minute. I was, you know, negotiate with me here, goddammit. He's on 40 a week. He, and you're in championship pick still. Although I haven't looked at the standards. Why not? Why, why the hell not? Let's look at. No, that one, that's not what I wanted to look at. Other leagues. Why not? Let's look at the uh, championship, see how Hull are doing. Let's if they, they are looking good for promotion. Hmm. 
Oh, wow, they are the top of the league. He by four points as well. Um, I guess they are looking good for that one. <laughs> I guess, I mean, probably safe to assume Hernandez is playing off good. It is getting a good few goals for them. I mean, that is why they are keen to try and keep him. for Jota has been accepted. Be on a bit high wages for a player of that age, but he learn his keep. He learn his keep. He might not accept that. Whoa! That is a... They were not kidding about the hefty price. And ironically, it's Dortmund. Tell you what, Dortmund, if you can pay the four, the two million, he's yours. But why Dortmund would want him is beyond me. You have Mkhitaryan and Royce. Where's Rafa play there? Like, unless I'm missing something and he sold one of those two. Which, I think I will remember. Oh, they're not interested in the player. That's, that is probably why there. I was wondering why they didn't. Um, would they take this guy? I'm trying to cheeky million. So I'm trying, trying to negotiate. I'm trying to negotiate here, Leo. I'm not trying to shorthand you. Yeah, I'm seeing if there's any players I have that you might be interested in. I'm getting a new keeper anyway. Right. What was the problem? He wants a bigger role. Okay. Will Sporadic do... I'll up it. His weight is a 16. Well, why not? Now, sweeten the deal. We'll get a nice young keeper. 2.2 million. See, why didn't you just ask for 2.2 million? In full? Now I know. Oh, we're. Now we're getting somewhere, okay? Now we're getting somewhere. These guys. Whoops. It's a press circle. <laughs> uh, hang on. Let's see. That's a difference of 9. 900k. Playing 1.8. Let's see if they'll bite 1.8. You're probably saying to yourself, 66 Rick hit, but remember, most of the melee is being tracked in real life by Spurs. Which, no offense, Spurs, but I purely for 
to avoid all confusion, I really hope you don't sign because imagine if they're playing the two Musa Dembele's at the same time. Like, Musa Dembele passes it to Musa Dembele, back to Musa Dembele. I don't know which Musa Dembele has the ball anymore. The commentators will be confused, the fans will be confused, everyone will be very, very confused. Who's, who's to what's going on? You're probably all confused. Who's to anything I just said? Ho, ho, look, ho, you gotta meet me here somewhere. Here. Mm, they are really, really testing my patience. Alright. They still want that 3.3. Tell you what, I'll up it to 2.2. Look how I'm trying to get a good deal here. I'm trying to get a good deal. Well, well, if it comes to it, I'll pay the money. But if I can get and cheaper, I will. Yeah, I, I was. I had a feeling that would happen. Joke that wants a bigger roll. But, that is something I definitely wanted to happen. Ruben Neves is. And you're probably saying to yourself, Corey, you're signing the same players again! Hmm, look. If you can find someone. Hmm. Who's as good as Ruben Neves in the central or midfield? Who's not Ruben Neves? Leave in the comment section below. Oh, oh, and then next episode, I'll go get him and I'll decline the deal for Ruben Neves. Or did I? Actually, I think I just accepted the deal for Ruben Neves. Well, I'll play him over Ruben Neves. <laughs> Ruben Neves will be pissed. But if you, but if you guys have a better suggestion, I'm all ears. Yeah, I did confirm the deal. <laughs> My bad. Oh well. See, while he's one rating lower, Room Nevis is 18. I mean he has four years on Augusto. And with training, Ruben Neves will fly past Augusto in no time. We all know that. Anyway, he he negotiate for the win aside, I think I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you Smash the like button if you enjoy. Hit subscribe for more videos very, very soon. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Oh, yeah, until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day.